Pop Steve's here, and yes, it's been a grind. I've been working on putting together this trading hall, emerald farm, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But working with villagers can be a nuisance. Getting them where I want them is always the challenge. Making sure they're linking to their beds and link into their workstations. Where the heck were you going, buddy? I need you down here. Well, this is the final villager to my collection here. I've got one more spot for one more villager. And this is the final one. Yes, this has taken a while. I've been working on this about a week now. Maybe more. But we're finally done. My final villager has linked to his bed. And he's finally into position. Whew. That was a lot of work. Oh. They're all sleeping right now, so I won't bug them. But there are 42 farmer villagers. Each one, with the exception of a few, have all been zombified to give me the better trades. Now, still got these slime chunks here, which give me slime. But today I'm talking villagers. So, let's show you exactly how I obtain all these villagers. First I come to my zombing, zombified area. And I place a bed and a workstation. Now, what we need is our two breeding villagers produce a baby. Nothing. Hmm, they don't seem interested. Oh, yes. Everybody should know you can't have a baby unless you got lots of bread. Once you got lots of bread, Hmm, having a baby is not a problem. And soon, soon, <laughs> ah, there we go. There's our baby. Now, what we have to do is get that baby separated from the adults. The easiest way to do this, wait for night. Once night hits, our baby villager will make his way to the bed and go to sleep. We'll lock him in there. Now we wait. Once he grows, and it does take time, uh, he can now be zombified. We zombify him. Again, we need to be on hard mode for this. Uh, we release our zombie. He does all the work for us. He'll chase down that villager and turn him into a zombified villager. Now that he is a zombified villager, our zombie really doesn't care about him anymore. He's more interested in trying to get at our two breeding villagers. Okay, now with our zombified villager isolated here, we shoot him with an arrow of weakness and feed him a golden apple. We can see the swirly yellow particles coming off of him. And in time, he will convert back to a regular villager. Link to his workstation. And link to his bed. Now in order to move the villager, it's best to do this at night. very important at this stage not to have any extra beds or extra workstations kicking around. We want to make sure that that villager keeps linking to this bed. I place the bed over here and he should link to it. We'll know he's linked when we see green particles. There, just like so. 
now that the villager has linked to that bed, he will uh, make his way over and try to get to sleep. At this point, I can run back and grab his workstation. I take his workstation and bring it over to where he's sleeping. I have a secret corridor here. Right down here. Placing my workstation at the end of that corridor will force the villager to go down that corridor to get to work. There he goes. Now at the very end of that corridor, there's a hole in the ground. You can nudge him a little, and down he goes. Now we simply grab his workstation, get his bed, and we head down too. And it's that simple. Now just do that 42 more times, and uh, you'll have a setup just like I do. Now, wh why do we go through all this effort to have all these villagers? The uh, main reason is emeralds. These gentlemen, now that have been zombified, will purchase pumpkins for emeralds and melons for emeralds. When you head down the entire line, you'll see you end up with an awful lot of emeralds. Ten stacks? Yeah, just over ten stacks of emeralds. Just in that one line of 42 uh, farmer villagers. Now, byproduct of this is slime. With the slime chunk right here beside my villagers, these guys constantly keep spawning in. And I keep chopping them up and taking their slime balls. And we're not just getting emeralds, we're also getting slime balls. And XP. You can see my levels are up to 141. And two stacks of slime balls, almost. Now, the other reason we want all these emeralds is over on this side, there's another 42 villagers. <laughs> yeah, I've been grinding. The first two villagers are the cartographers. I mainly want these for those item frames. They also have explorer maps and other items. Uh, I only need two of those. These are my main ones. We have mason villagers. On the master trade of a mason villager, he will sell blocks of quartz. He also sells pillared blocks of quartz, but those villagers, I uh, kind of get rid of them. And just stick with the blocks of quartz villagers. Once I've done trading with them all, I end up with six full stacks of quartz, blocks of quartz. Uh, it's about the only place you can get blocks of quartz uh, without uh, using up all your nether quartz to craft them. Now, I still have my clerics over here. And I got so many emeralds. Might as well fill up with some more redstone. There's a full three stacks of redstone. Uh, that keeps keep me going. And my redstone needs. And as you see, I got a lot of redstone. And also accumulating 
a lot of blocks of quartz. I have an idea to build a giant quartz church or cathedral or, or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm still dreaming about that idea. But there you have it. After a long grind of villager moving and breeding, we've got our full emerald farm trading center completed. This is Papa Steve's signing off.